Hey everybody, it's Chloe here. I thought I would talk to you about a problem that I get quite a lot and that is dirty handles and hardware on my upcycled furniture like this. As you can see it's a little bit rusty, uh, it's lost its shine, sometimes they'll be painted over but I've got a little trick that you can use to clean up your handles um, and I'm going to show you that now. So here I have my handle, to show you that. I'm just gonna pop it in a bowl. This is vinegar that you can get from any supermarket. I'm just gonna pop some of that in the bowl, just guess. It doesn't really matter. But it's nice to do this kind of thing with household materials um, because they're accessible, everybody has them in their cupboard. And it's just a nice, easy thing to do, and it's magic. Then I'm going to put a little spoon of baking powder as well in here. Put that in. So it's starting to fizz already. And then I'm going to pour, this kettle has been boiled, um, so boiling water on top. And watch it fizz. In fact, I'm just going to turn that over a little bit. Turn it over for a minute. And make sure it's in the water. And I'm just going to leave it to soak. It depends on how dirty the handle is or how rusty. Um, you can always give it a little test. But I'm just going to leave that to soak for about five minutes. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to see how it's doing. So this water has cooled down now. So I'm just gonna take my handle out for a minute. Sometimes you can see instant results. But with this one, I'm gonna give it a little scrub. Now you can use one of these sponges that you can get from the supermarket again. They're quite easy to get hold of. Or if it's a bit heavier, the dirt and the grime on it, you can use wire wool as well. That's really, really good at um, cleaning up metal. So that's a really useful tip. But I'm going to try with the sponge first. Let me give it a scrub. It's starting to look much nicer now. So I'm just gonna get, this is basically, it looks like a toothbrush, but it has metal teeth along here. Um, you can get these really easily in any DIY store. So I'm just gonna rub on this particular handle because it's got lots of detail um, where the dirt will sit. So that's looking a lot better now. Can you see it's just got a lovely bronzy sheen, but I'd like to make it a little bit shinier. So I've just got a paintbrush. Um, and then I'm just going to dip my paintbrush in some clear wax. And then I'm just going to put some wax. The brush is good because it goes into all the detail. Just a bit more. I'm just buffing it with a cloth now to just get a little bit of a sheen on the metal. These are looking much better, but I still want a bit of sparkle. So this is a good tip if you want them to be a bit more shiny. You can use some gold wax, gold gilding wax. Um, I'll put details of it in the resources. I hope you found that helpful and it's given you some ideas of how to restore and revive the hardware on your upcycling projects. Uh, let me know how you get on in the forum, I'd love to see. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Speak to you later, bye bye. I hope you found that helpful and it's given you some ideas of how to restore and revive the hardware on your upcycling projects. 
Uh, let me know how you get on in the forum, I'd love to see. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Speak to you later. Bye bye.